architecture. What is he on about? Is this thing a threat to the steam deck? Oh, how can I procrastinate and not do any work? Oh yes! What about an old project that I stopped working on over two years ago? Ah! So you want to know what this is? Or you don't, I don't know, I'm just assuming that. This right here was a Raspberry Pi project that I started working on, I think it was probably about two years ago now, maybe a year and a half, uh, and I never finished it. Uh, this was an old Macintosh SE30, uh, was completely destroyed inside. And when I mean destroyed, I mean the motherboard was corroded to the living hell. I, I imagine this thing was left out in the rain. The CRT didn't work, nothing worked at all. So I very carefully took out the insides and the shell is perfectly preserved and there's uh, not actually been any you know, different manipulations or, or modifications done to the shell. So it is actually still original. The only thing I did do was fabricated this sort of base piece um, inside the motherboard tray. <laughs> I don't know any of the words for this stuff, but let me show you what I've got here. So this right here is an actually an old iPad screen. Um, I got this all from, from China. Uh, this is an old iPad screen and a driver board for it, as you can see. So this iPad screen had this cable thing sort of attached to a ribbon cable, I imagine, down here. Uh, it goes over here to a driver board, uh, which you can see there. And then that allows you to plug in things like HDMI, VGA, uh, composite. Uh, you've also got USB, presumably for some sort of power. And you've got um, RF signal, which is nice. Um, so very simply, I then plug in an HDMI cable, which is way longer than it needs to be, to the Raspberry Pi's HDMI out, and you then have your display. So I decided I was gonna bring this down from the loft. Um, it's got a piece of wood on it, which I spray painted silver to match the rest of the tray piece that the Macintosh motherboard would have been sat on at one point. Um, and then very simply just some motherboard legs that were uh, glued to the wood and then the motherboards, uh, the, the, you know, the PCBs were then mounted down with the screws included. And there we have it. That's a very simple thing. Uh, and then my friend Stuart did all the Raspberry Pi magic. Let me plug it in and show you what it does. Let me plug it in and show you what it does. Let me plug it in and show you what it does, yo. In goes the power to the Raspberry Pi. In goes the power to the monitor. Woohoo! Yay! Right, now let's try and prop this up somehow. Boom. So you've now got a Macintosh with a Raspberry Pi inside of it. And then if you go around here, you can see it's all just powered off of this stuff. But we're gonna to need to do one more thing. We need to plug in the mouse and keyboard in order to actually control the stuff. So let me go ahead and do that. There we go. Now, as you can see, we have a tiny little computer inside of a Macintosh. Now, it's really cool. You know, you've got things like the internet. Uh, it does take a little bit of a time to load, you know, this is, after all, quite a small Raspberry Pi, not a massive computer. Uh, you've got different games and stuff. Minecraft comes preloaded, I think, on, on these Raspberry Pis. I think it's like a Raspberry Pi version of, of Minecraft. Not sure if it's any good. I mean, it, it works. That's quite nice, isn't it? Can we, can we go up here? Not really. How on earth do we escape? Well... I know how we do it. We press escape and then we press quit to title and then we close it and never open it ever again. So obviously you've got, you know, the internet, YouTube videos play, you know, you can watch Tom Scott. In fact, I've already watched this one. Oh no, I haven't. I haven't watched this one yet, but yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a brilliant little thing. It's a tiny little computer. Raspberry Pis are obviously brilliant and you can do loads of stuff with them, including basic internet browsing and playing Minecraft and whatnot. But there's also things that you can do like emulation. And that's exactly what this program is here. This is mini virtual Mac. Now I've got the boot disc for the Mac 
on this SD card because when you turn on the Macintosh, you're meant to slide in like a boot disk. And if you see, when I actually go to turn this on, it says, let's read it. Uh, oh, no, we need to press execute. Uh, unable to locate ROM image. And that's on, on here. But I've not got an SD card reader to plug it in. Um, but you get the idea. It just turns it into an actual Macintosh, and it's really, really cool. And then Stuart put some games and stuff on there for me. Um, so it is actually a tiny little Macintosh, and it would eventually just work really perfectly well like a modern mini Macintosh. But I never finished the project, and there's a few reasons for that. Um, I was going to get my friend Tim to CNC me a, an actual curved piece of acrylic. He had done it before for one of the, his mini arcades that he bought. Um, and I wanted to have that actual CRT effect because I wanted everything on the outside to look exactly the same. And then that bracket was then gonna have uh, the ability to mount this screen actually properly inside. And he was really good at, he's really good at 3D printing and um, doing all that sort of stuff. But he got super busy, you know, time passed and everybody had responsibilities and things to do. COVID happened and the project just never got finished. So I'm, I'm gonna try and speak to Tim again and see if maybe we can uh, finish that off and stuff. I also had friends who helped me design little uh, 3D printed brackets that went into the back that was then gonna give you things like the SD card reader and extended USB ports and, and stuff and what have yous and all that sort of other words to fill in the sentences. Um, there was gonna be a little mini power strip thing here that then meant that I could plug in uh, just a really short micro USB cable to a USB um, or or even maybe just power it off the monitor if that's possible, I don't, I don't know. And a smaller HDMI cable and a plug to then power the, the monitor so that all you had was then one cable that came out of the back of the Mac um, or even maybe just like a kettle lead or something that you could just connect to it. And then, I mean, there was so many ideas, but I never got anywhere with it. I got to about the most basic part and quit. Um, but what do you think? I mean, it was cool in concept. I just put a uh, screenshot up on the screen to show what it would have actually looked like if I had the emulation running. And I just propped it up with my tripod. But as you can see, it would have looked pretty damn sweet. And I could have gotten a bit of a better mu um, mouse. That's what that's called. Uh, in fact, a while ago, I did make a Bluetooth one. Um, no idea what that is. I moved house a few times since then. So, But yeah, I mean, there we go. The Macintosh project. Should I finish it?